Hello and welcome back to another video. This problem we're differentiating the function f of y is equal to 1 over y squared minus 3 over y to the fourth times y plus 5y cubed. Before we do anything, I think it's being easier to differentiate this if we get all the exponents into the numerator. So if you have an exponent in the denominator, I'm going to bring it into the numerator. First of all, you have the numerator right there. I'm going to bring it up. You want to multiply the exponent by negative 1. Again, here in the denominator, to bring it into the numerator, I'm going to multiply it by negative 1. Therefore, we have more clear power functions, and this can be easier to differentiate. Actually, getting to the derivative, we're going to use the product rule. So that's going to start out with the first term, y to the negative 2 minus 3y to the negative 4 times the derivative of the second term, y plus 5y cubed. Then we do it the other way, where we have the second term times the derivative of the first term. This is the full derivative, and then we can simplify it to get our final answer. So for this first term, we have y to the negative 2 minus 3y to the negative 4. In the derivative of this, we have a linear term right here, so its derivative is just its coefficient, which is 1 plus 5. Dealing with y cubed, we have a power function, so we bring down the exponent to the coefficient. And your new exponent is the old one minus 1, so y squared. Plus y times 5y cubed times the derivative of this. Again, we have two power functions, so you bring down the exponent, and then subtract 1 for your new exponent, minus 3, bring it down, negative 4, times y to the negative 4, minus 1, negative 5. Now this is just something you can simplify. We get y to the negative 2, minus 3y to the negative 4, times 1, plus 5 times 3 is 15, y squared, plus y plus 5y cubed times negative 2y to the negative 3 minus 3 times negative 4 is plus 12 y to the negative 5. Distributing all of these, we get y to the negative 2 plus 15 y to the negative 2 times y to the second power. When you're multiplying, you can add the exponents when you have the same base, so 2 minus 2 is y to the 0, which is just 1, minus 3y to the negative 4, minus 3 times 15 is minus 45, y to the negative 4 plus 2 is y to the negative 2. Plus, here we have negative 2y to the 1, think of y as y to the first power, to the 1 minus 3 is negative 2, plus 12y to the first power, minus 5 is y to the negative 4, minus 5 times 2 is minus 10, y to the 3, minus 3 is y to the 0, which is just 1, plus 5 times 12 is 60, y to the 3, minus 5 is y to the negative 2. Now, combining like terms, we get 60, y to the negative 2, minus 45, y to the negative 2, which is 15, y to the negative 2, plus y to the negative 2 would be 16, y to the negative 2, plus 15 minus 10 is plus 5. I'm just crossing out terms as we go through so we don't double count anything. Um, we missed this negative minus 2, y to the negative 2, so that's going to be dropped down to 14. That's counted for. And then we have 12, y to the negative 4, minus 3, y to the negative 4 would be plus 9, y to the negative 4. That's going to be your final answer for the derivative of f of y.